Earmuffs on. Put your earmuffs. earmuffs. Hey, earmuffs, earmuffs on, boys. Put the earmuffs on. Earmuffs. That's it. Put the earmuffs on. Because it's the moment the whole world has been waiting for. The moment of truth, boys. <laughs> he was just pouring his coffee from a mile <laughs> in the air. That was impressive. See, like foam. That's like it. <laughs> was that machine. hot? Yeah, it's hot. Could have burnt yourself. Hey, he just made it espresso. <laughs> That's why you pour it hot. Espresso. Yeah. It does Ex-presso, all that. Espresso, boys. It puts all that foam on top. It's like your machines, you know. What was that again? <laughs> Goblin is really good at sound effects. <laughs> Goblin, give us, give us the eighteen wheeler. That's my favorite one. <laughs> Come on. I can't well, do it when y'all come uh, got well, me on I'm the I'm staring at you. Oh. <laughs> I love it when he does that. I love it. That's literally in my That's top. That's like Marcel. I just want to be a long <laughs> Hey, he's always <laughs> one. Hey, <that's> like, <laughs> he's just like Marcel, boys. He will always want to be a long trip. Why are you wearing? We're ending it's this. It's an echo. We're ending this year exactly how it started. Weird. You've got on two pair of sunglasses. One, one pair. What are you? No, that's two pair when he goes out hey, in the look, sun. The first pair, the sunglasses are not prescription, so I had to put on two pair because mine are prescription. We're not outside. Hey, the lights are hot in here <laughs> and shiny. Okay. He's cold. It's like landing on the moon, boys. I'm too sexy for my sunglasses. Too sexy for hey. my <laughs> All right, we've gone off the rails to start <laughs> right. the final episode of 2020. Very New Year's Eve 2020, we've all been waiting on it, and we're just getting weird. Already. Early. Already, boys. Cy going to be listening to dubstep, and who knows what else next, wearing that kind of get up. Uh, Godwin's still supporting them Christmas tree cakes. He's still, he still got that bag over there. Run them back. Oh, I found that box over there. <laughs> uh, I bought we stashed, too many. We stashed I one a, box. I might need a snack later. Right. Y'all was um, working on these Christmas tree boys. Yeah, well, I can assure you one thing. They still taste just as good as they do pre-Christmas. So, oh, yeah. Um, they should sell them all year long. Look, 2020, I think, is for a lot of people, has had a pretty negative spin. Uh, but if you want to know about that, turn your TV on. Don't listen to us because we ain't going down that road. Um, You've come to the wrong show for negativity. Yeah. That's no, right. we go, we're going to kind of do a year wrap-up and just – what happened good i mean there's plenty of good that happened this year um you know the most immediate thing personally i can think about is dead gum duck season has been like a house on fire around yeah. here and for the first time in three four five years mm. man it's it's fun it, it's a lot of fun ducks act like ducks you call they lock they turn they get shot you eat them and you wake up the next morning and you do it all over again. And and I'm just, for one, very excited about that fact. I'm excited about this evening because I have some teal breasts marinating in the refrigerator last night from last night. Ooh. So they've been in there all night swimming in that Uh-oh. goulash I got. Uh-oh. In the goulash. What's in your goulash, Calvin? It is lemon juice. Mm-hmm. Salt and pepper. Okay, mm-hmm. then but two good ingredients. Worcestershire sauce. Uh oh. Okay. Give it a little and kick. A little bit of smoked paprika. Okay, a little okay. smoke of paprika. And boys. it's olive oil. Sounds mm. pretty good. And I put some stuff I got uh that balsonic hickory smoke balsonic uh, vinegar. Yeah. Yeah. Balsonic vinegar. Got that in there. Mm-hmm. And it's just easing around in there. And they're just doing the back. I go in there and in massage there. the bag every once in a while. Yep, make sure they're in there doing good. the backstroke, or they're doing maybe doing a butterfly. Well, they may they, be doing a breast stroke. Oh, this is probably breast their breast. Yeah. Yeah. They're fixing okay. to be laying on them grates oh. on that pit boss grill. Okay, they're well, they're we'll going to be, smoke, gonna be sizzling. Sizzling. Hey, it's making my mouth About water, 225. Sounds, sounds tell you, it reminds you of that time Jay Stone made them wood duck breasts on it. Hey, cool. We hey. made it through the Christmas episode. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> hey, look. But we ain't making it this episode. Hey, he, grilled, he grilled 25 of them bad boys up for me and Miss Christine. She had about two. 
So that means I got about 23. Well, Sweet Pea taxed you for one or oh, two. Oh, no, no. Seven. He was trying, and he got slapped <laughs> off the table. He got All he got out of the deal was a backhand. Oh, Lord, have mercy. But, yeah, I think years are what you make of them, right? I mean, you can I, look at 2020 as negative all you want to, or you can think about the good stuff that's happened. And, you know, around here, we, we tend to focus on the good. Oh, we so. go positive. Amen. Yeah, we go life's too boys. short to be negative yeah so no. i ain't got time to be negative i mean for the first time this year i'm looking at a man wearing two pairs of glasses how often does that happen uh, uh, yeah it's a great day and, and i look really good in them <laughs> just asked him he'll tell you <laughs> i'm looking at him over there it actually isn't a bad look right. i'm telling you it and i'm so humble on. and i'm so humble anyway okay yeah. Humble pie. <laughs> Humble pie, boy. Humble pie. Oh, my goodness gracious. Goblin, what, give me one something positive that's happened with you this year. What What you got? Wow, I don't know. I, uh, uh, recent, I guess, would be uh, how much me and my woman's hunting together this year. That's that's a positive. That's a positive. Oh, yeah, because um, we got through hunting. We were sitting there. You know how she's busybody, busybody. We was down at the camp at jeff's camp and we was she was wanting to clean up he said no because we was sitting in the lazy boys Mm -hmm. he said get that lazy boy over and you know her she can't be still well she finally got over and she kicked it back and she went to sleep so i was like all right now so did you go by and throw her cup away when she went to sleep like she does all of us no (laughs) (laughs) no no i'll tell you about that in a minute Uh. That's another story. <laughs> but she woke up and she looked over at me and she said, Okay, I get it. <laughs> I know why you love it. So yeah. so I said, All right, that's so that was a very positive thing. There is no nap quite like a hunting camp Mm-mm. nap. She it said just, I, I could just disappear down here. Mm-hmm. Amen. <laughs> she said, That ain't very Christian we supposed to be. <laughs> yeah. But she said, I could get lost in these woods. Guaranteed. The only problem is somebody comes asking for their money at some point. That's, the, that's yeah. when you got to come back to work and all that kind of stuff. So it's, but that is, I mean, that's a cool thing whenever, you know, a take home from, from all of this is, you know, from the quote unquote quarantine and all that social distancing and all that is you really got to spend a lot of time with your family and yep. you, you got to kind of reconnect on a, you know, we we make our lives so busy that a lot of times you sit down and eat dinner together, and that's about it. And then you go to bed, you wake up, and you do it all over again the next day. But, you know, this year there was a lot more uh, time built in there to spend with family. It and, was. Uh, you know, for me and Brittany, I know we spent a lot of time fishing. Yeah. Uh, Did you notice all them families out there that you never used to see? Fishing? Yeah, the oh. whole family on the boat. Man, if you was in the boat building business, you are singing the praises of 2020 because there was one everywhere. And if you like John David, the heir to a tackle shop, (laughs) yeah, you know, he just he knocked off five years of having to work this year. (laughs) That's right. It wasn't me working. It was my parents working their butts off. Oh, I know. But your inheritance grew. I can assure you of that. They sold a lot of crickets in the past year. A lot of people fishing. And I've noticed around that Owen household, there's been a lot of steak and shrimp nights over the past year, too. Well, yeah, you can't go out to eat. And so I live in the same neighborhood as my parents, so we walk around the corner. I eat at my parents' house a lot. Yeah, my kids, I, we go over there, and Big Dave's been selling enough crickets. We eat steak and shrimp, boys. Guaranteed. Hey, yeah. <laughs> there ain't nothing wrong with that. See, that's the stuff that people, when you look at it at a glance, you forget about and you don't realize. You know, it's just, um, you know, for us this year, we're generally traveling around so much, speaking and doing all of that kind of stuff that we're not home on the weekends and. And this year, I got to actually do a lot of hunting camp work, like turning dirt, riding a tractor, and all that kind of stuff. And you don't realize how much you miss that until you get back on that track. I know it. You know? The land work, to me, is just as fun as the hunting. So It is. I mean, I, I like hatching a plan, getting it done, and then watching what the rewards are in November and December from it. So... You know, getting back to doing that again is it. It's a good time. I, I've I've thoroughly enjoyed it. Well, si, well, you've been awful quiet today. Well, you? no, no, because I was thinking Jay Stone. <clears throat> he, he does all the work out at fields for the food plots and stuff on the deer. Okay, and then I actually go get to go with him later and deer hunt. Yeah, 
which is like he's talking about. That's part of it. Like duck hunting used to, okay, I would be part of brushing the blinds and all this. And that's part of it. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. See if you've done a good job, you know. You know well, I can watching, tell you from Watching a, the game. I can tell you from experience, y'all used to do a heck of a job brushing them duck blinds because I'd get in it and couldn't even see the water. <laughs> the only thing I could see was straight up. Yep. Now, I noticed the ends were suspiciously wide open, but no, that yeah. middle. That's weird because yeah. the few times I went with them, I couldn't even see straight up. Yeah. I was yeah. just sitting inside of a bush. Yeah, well, and yeah. then they'd look hey. over there and say, put that yeah. face paint on. Yeah, they treat you like they treat me. Yeah. Jace always puts two big limbs right over the hole I'm supposed to shoot ducks out. <laughs> exactly. Okay, but I still get mine, J.D. I don't get mine. <laughs> that good. Hey, you can put me in a barrel. I'll stick it out the little where you pour it out. Uh-uh. As long uh, as I got that shotgun out, well, I can shoot, everything's dying, boy. I remember the first time I went hunting down there. I got in there, and, and I'm a good three or four inches taller than everybody else around there. And I get in there, and there's this limb poking me in the eye every time I stand up. And I reach over there, and I just break that limb. And, and Phil, Phil, hears, Phil hears snap. Phil said, who was that? What was that? <laughs> yeah. Hey, so, who's that messing with the brush? Uh, yeah. He said, you can tie it. Don't break it. <laughs> You can tie it down. Don't break it. Don't don't be breaking my brush now. And I'm like, it was a willow limb yeah. no bigger than my pinky around yeah, and that had four leaves left on yeah, it. Yeah, and it had sticking me in the eye. Yeah, and yeah. he's like, no, don't don't be breaking my brush now. He said, if you brush it, you can break it, but you wouldn't brushing it, so don't break it. I was like, that's what I let you drive a hard bargain yeah, around here. That's him, when man. I always get tickled. Tell me, hey, you flared them ducks, huh? And I said, no, nah, boys, I didn't flare them. I said, you need to look where you're standing. I said, there's two openings in this blind. One of them's on Jason's end. The other one's on Phil's end. So if anybody's flying the ducks, it will be one of those two. <laughs> Thank you. I said, Thank you. <laughs> and call me later. That's right. Call me later. Oh, and on that note, we are going to take our first break. Look, I got the perfect thing to do for your wife going into the New Year's. Y'all know what it is? Mm-mm. No. Get her a subscription to Bloomsy Box. Brilliant. All you have to do, sign her up for a subscription. They continually send her flowers throughout the year. You get the credit, and you don't even have to think about it. Look at that. That's what I'm talking about. So Who, you just click you here. You can do it for birthdays, Valentine's Day, Mama's Day. Oh, you expensive. just put it all in at one time, and you don't have to worry about it. You ain't got to worry about nothing. You may have to go. I'd have to check a little bit closer on scheduling the deliveries. But I know if you get a subscription to BloomsyBox.com, you get free shipping. And right now, if you use the code DUCK, you can get 15% off. That's bloomsybox.com. Enter the code DUCK to get 15% off. And if you sign up for a subscription, you also get free shipping. So that's promo code DUCK for an extra 15% off at B-L-O-O-M-S-Y box.com. There is not a woman on this world that has ever been upset for getting flowers. She likes flowers. Hey, monthly or weekly. There you go. Or weekly. That weekly bag may hit you a little bit. You're going to need that 15% off you get on that weekly bag. (laughs) And the free shipping that comes with it. But that's what I'm saying. A thing of flyers a month, you ain't ever got to think about it. Every month, that's just a bonus point. Yeah, you pick the date and everything. See? That's that's brownie point. Guaranteed. Brownie point. New year, new men, better marriages. There you go. Bloomsybox.com. 2021. I'm ready for size 2020 story. Yep. 2020 yep. story, boy, I ain't even next. got one. Huh? The kid ain't, ain't on his on ain't on his game today. Well, the tea jug's still full. Hey. Yeah, get you a shot of that. Some of that size size shot of you. Oh, hey, I he's pouring it all hey, over. I just you. got on and just poured it all over me, boy. Well, then, then if you ain't on your game, Sal, we're going to let John David kick us off. John David, give me something from 2020. 2020. Boy. What do you – well, I was with you most of the time. We were – we spent a couple – Months at the office, it was just me and you, a couple yeah. other people. Store yeah. was closed. Yeah. What? It, well, I had one interesting moment. What happened? Is it family friendly? It is. Okay. Well, yeah. I was I was the last person on earth, I think, to get a slight procedure done to make sure there was no more children flowing from <laughs> my house. <laughs> they, I, they, I remember that. You run sh- your woman off? No, no. They shut down the whole the whole country. And then the doctor's office called me and said, hey, if you still want to do this thing, 
uh, come on up here. We'll put mask on. And I, I went and got snipped. Yeah. I'm I'm technically neutered. And it happened in March of 2020. 2020. He was the last <laughs> man to get a vasectomy in the town of West Monroe. Okay. Pre, well, pre shutdown. <laughs> I thought we were talking about was, positive stuff. That is, yeah. hey, come to my house, hang out with all of my children, and you'll be like, that is probably positive that you're not. Oh, have yeah. you ever been around that wild bunch he's got? <laughs> well, you know what causes that, don't you? Yeah, That's, and I wanted to keep doing that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. So <laughs> so we turned, we, we shut off one of the valves on in there, and so I'm good. Okay, boy. We are officially with, I have a six-year-old, a four-year-old, and about to be two-year-old like in a week hmm. and so we said that's good we're, sh- we're shutting it down and I guess practice makes perfect I yeah guess. guaranteed but it was nice because everybody the whole world was stove up in their house and i was stuck in bed for like three days i even you know i was like hey let's make it a fourth yeah. i just kind of sat there run it back took yeah. a couple of days off from work like the rest of the world it was uh-huh. weird Gavin had a look on his face akin to you like killing his dog or something <laughs> I don't, I don't. I know, man. That's ter- I'm sorry. I'm perfectly happy with it. I volunteered. He said he volunteered for this job, boys. I said, how do we just, I think we're done. I think three's solid. We were always saying we're going to have four, and then we just had three that were just like me. And it was like, yeah, I think three's good. And then your wife said, that's it. Yeah. Yep. She said, we're done. We're did done. It, did it hurt? Yeah. We're no, done. it actually doesn't. You, they give you an IV, make you feel real weird. <laughs> then you, then a couple minutes later, you walk out to the car. You waddle. I mean, you're walking funny. Well, I know they put you to sleep during the surgery. No, 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 uh, uh, no, uh, no, no, no. You can hear it, Godwin. You watch it. No, this is this is you. Know, you, I could see smoke coming up from my lap. <laughs> 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 Look at this guy. <laughs> yeah, okay. No, no, that, it may it it uh, freaks me out, but it didn't hurt that bad. And so then, I my wife drove me to the Walmart. She went inside, bought some frozen peas. So I sat in the car, contemplating my whole life. Drove me home. I got in bed. Three days later, I got out of bed and was good to go. They took it. He so they had you drugged hey, up over where you didn't. Care. Oh yeah, no, I was. Hey, JD just got a three day vacation. Yeah. Smoke. Wait. <laughs> hey. No, they burned the, to yeah. shut off the valve. Okay. They burn it. It's like clearing land. Once you pile a brush pile, you got to burn it. <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> I don't know if that metaphor is right. Well, hey, hey. Oh, I've Look. never thought of it in that regard. Hey, it's like, more like hey. a rope. You burn the hey. end of it That's to right. make sure hey. it doesn't fray. Hey. Oh. There, hey, look, where there's smoke, there's fire, boy. <laughs> <laughs> no, I heard the fire. They send something down there. I don't even like doing that to dogs or horses. Or... Uh, the funny part is I felt worse about doing it to my dog than I did about myself. Well, yeah. I was in. I was sold on the idea. Well, Godwin, here's the thing, though. I mean, I have a very good friend that got it done, and one thing led to another, and he 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 got it undone. No. Nope. So there's a Hard there's path. a path back. So, so you can undo it. Oh once yeah. You do it. You can undo it. There it, is a path back. We I don't knows. think I want to be cut on down there twice. Snip snap. <laughs> snip snap. Snip. No no. <laughs> I didn't want to do it once, but hey, if I need. If I, if me and my wife, which we just got married, hey, 2020, 10 year anniversary, a couple of weeks ago, so that's a good thing too. But if we want another one, we'll, we will adopt one. Yeah. There's plenty of kids out there that need a loving home. Yeah. We're talking about it, kinda. Maybe do that one day. But I, I'm good on biological children. I've it's done kinda, my part. It's kind of like a Christmas present, Godwin. You know when you put the bowl top tight. Hey, when you get ready to have them again, just untie it. I, it actually, that's a very expensive Christmas present to untie. Well, hey, yeah. well, wow. hey. Or to tie it back? Yeah. It's, or to tie it back. It's a, it's a retie. It, yeah, it ain't an untie. It's a retie. Well, retie. Well, the doctor went through it. With all, he was like, and just in case. And he started going through it. I said, time out. Bro. No, 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 no. no, no if this was ever in the cards, said, hey, I, this, I wouldn't be yeah. here now. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. we're going to do this. We're going to do it for good. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and I recommended a friend. But they didn't send me like a gift card or anything. I was didn't get a Groupon. But if anybody needs to know, you didn't get a present from your friend. 
No, from okay, the doctor. I, I wanted yeah, like okay. a like a discount, um, oh. but I can't get another one. I so. always get tickled at those vasectomy doctors because they run specials like around the Masters. Like, you know, you go in and get it done on Wednesday and you watch the golf tournament Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And like by Monday, yeah, hey, you're, you'd you're be back up and rolling. Up. So, hey, yeah. I Four scheduled. Five days, you're ready to go again. Ready to rock. So, I scheduled mine in the first weekend of March Madness. Yeah. And I was well, like, this is going to be legit. <laughs> I'm just going to watch basketball for three days and then they said cancel it yeah. so i said i'm all right i'll just watch movies and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> play playstation right, i'm just saying okay. i would do it again if they were oh. like hey five years you got to do it again God, i'm like hey, i'll turn on me tv and watch i Guns almost Bo- want a cigarette <laughs> <laughs> it's not that bad it is i mean now i can uh, i got some friends that i can tell you stories it i don't was even bad. smoke <laughs> <laughs> It done got Godwin so shook up. He got to run that coffee back, son. Ooh. <laughs> so there's my positive 2020. Uh, I had, uh, had a vasectomy. Right. He had a vasectomy. Hey, there you go. And so, you ain't had no more kids. So, it, so it took. It worked. Yeah, there you go. That's I a can, good thing. It's been nine months, no new children. I'm telling you, we... Uh-oh. It was, I, I understand I could get, I, Me and my wife, we'd get pregnant easy. So I was like, you know what? Yeah, y'all was a couple of fertile myrtles. Yeah. That didn't yeah. take y'all no time. Yeah, yeah we, we had three kids in yeah. like eight years. Yeah. Yeah, I understand that, okay? Because I've, I've got four grandsons from each of my children. Scott gave me four when he got married, and then Tracy done the same thing. And you say, okay, wait a minute. We done tried this four times, and that's what we come up with? Yeah, you need to shut the factory off. Because, <laughs> hey... <laughs> What you got, what you brought into this world ain't working. <laughs> wow. <laughs> well, yeah. You keep making the same mistake over and over and over and over. <laughs> I, I'm not saying I made any mistakes. I'm just tired. But, hey, I love my grandchildren, okay? Don't get it wrong. It sounds like it. Oh, I do. Oh, hey, they're man. destructos, boys. Hey. He loves to whoop their hey. tail. Oh, oh, hey, no. They destroy everything. Oh, okay, like, but I probably did too when I was a kid. Okay, so yeah. hey, oh, well. yeah, that's just life. There's one thing all wow. eight of them have in common, and it's your blood. Oh, I'm glad my. that you uh, calling that positive. Uh, <laughs> most assuredly a positive. <laughs> hey. uh, so well, I thought my building the fire was o- right on point. time and perfect. Okay. Because huh? he said smoke, hey, well, there's smoke, there's fire, boys. Guaranteed there, yeah. Guaranteed that, that, that's what it is. Oh, did. my goodness I can't gracious. believe they don't put you to sleep. <laughs> oh, no, you're this wide awake. Looking at the man in the eye. No, nah, we ain't looking at nothing. Procedure. Yeah, look, that okay. thing now yeah. is akin to an oil change. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. It's, yeah, they could drive through. Yeah. yeah. That's it. That's it. I like that. <laughs> that's a good analogy. Now. It's a drive through boys. I got you, doctor, if hey. you just want to go get one. Right. Hey. Just beep, beep. <laughs> now. Nah. Okay. Hey, Go look, ahead. Miss hey. Paula got all her energy out anyway. <laughs> See, my wife said she ain't doing it. I said, ain't doing it, boy. <laughs> so I, well, she had to. <laughs> what are you laughing at? <laughs> Did you just use the phrase innards? <laughs> uh, uh, well, I ain't putting in there. <laughs> 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 2020, <laughs> the year of the vasectomy. Hey, hey oh. next week, next week I'm gonna be discouraging uh, uh, open heart surgery. <laughs> oh oh my goodness! <laughs> mm. Oh man! She had to get her ovaries out. Oh, so you didn't even have to cross this bridge. Mm-mm. Yeah, you'd have been there too had the, had the a, bridge been built. It was a pretty big ordeal. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. and for, for me it was years, tip, tip. done. Mayo Clinic. Them people got it going on up there. They oh, fixed yeah. everything. Got it all. And now Miss Paula. Whoo. Yeah, that's why I said practice makes perfect. She a pistol, son. Yeah. She fired up about everything. She is. Yeah. Guarantee you. She's yes. a little lippy. <laughs> <laughs> I remember the first time you told me that. Tell tell everybody what you gonna put on her headstone. Here lies Paula, she was a little lippy. <laughs> Hey, she'll tell you the same thing you asked her. Hey, quit mumbling. Tell me, hey. That's right. Hey, tell me, tell me, hey. hey quit, quit mumbling over. Oh, uh, that's what she says to him all the time. You mumbling again. Yeah. And I'm She sitting. can't hear. How I, many I, years have y'all been married? 30. 30? See, I'm only a third of the way. I can't call my wife Lippy yet. 
Oh. She is. I just can't say it out loud. Oh. You just did. I, yeah. Hey, he, you, you, I, I tell you, I tell you, more smarter than he looks. Yeah, I know. You know, every time he gets lippy, that's what I say. Yeah, marriage, marriage gets a, better and better. Oh yeah. Right. I will say, year ten was the best year. We, even in the year midst 10. of twenty twenty, uh, living in a house with three uh, children hanging from the ceiling fans, it was the best year we've had <laughs> by far. <laughs> That, that, that lived in a zoo. Uh, <laughs> I can't speak for the youngest, but that that oldest and that middle one. The youngest is the craziest one. Well, she's insane. No, ain't no. She way. beats the other two up. Well, I can believe that. Do you ever go to Jay Stone's house with your kids? No. Okay. That's too much. Oh, There's too okay. many well, children there. Well, me and Stone have an Sage. agreement. Yeah. So Sage, I can tell you if y'all tell me she's bad, you know. Who? Hey, you talking like Stone likes house guests. That's out. I mean, he ain't ever invited nobody over. Are you kidding? <laughs> Ali. Just sad. Yeah. yeah. Um, Phil says Stone come out of the womb, looked around, says, and said, I don't, I like don't know about this. Yeah, I don't know about this. Yeah. <laughs> so you didn't do that right. <laughs> so I'd have done this way different. Yeah. Oh, man. Well, on that note, let, let's go to our next break. Why don't we? 2020. Well, the question everybody wants to know, Sai, what is your New Year's resolution? Oh, my goodness. I don't even make one because I can't keep it. So you don't why, have... why make something that you know good and well? Okay, no, nope, I ain't going to be able to handle it, boys. Because it gives you a chance. I mean, you at least have something to work for here. No, like, no. I mean, you don't. No. All yeah. right, and on that, we're going to take our next break. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> way to just pop, wah, wah, wah. Way to pop the terrible. balloon. That's terrible. New Year's resolution's over. Yeah, way to pop the balloon, son. Oh, come on, right. come on, Sai. You got to have something. I, you got to even have something you just thought of. New Year's resolution. Yeah. We, yeah. we got 10 minutes. I think I might got, do this, but uh, no. Nah. What could you change in your life for the better? What would I change in my life for the better? Yeah. I would make Miss Christine sweet instead of mean. Well, you are somewhat well, in control plan? of that. Well, what's I, your plan? What's well, your plan? I, no. She <laughs> just, she's, she must be kin to my kin folks, okay? Uh-oh. She's got a mean streak to her, like the Hobbses and the Hales, boys. Hey, it's just something you can't, you can't get that out of people, okay? It's one of them deals that just got to work its way out. My and, God. They, and they always work it out on someone else. Might I recommend a thing of flowers from Bloomsy Box? Uh, there you go. <laughs> it always helps. Well, uh, I might try that. You ain't even got to go to the store. You uh, just uh, order them. They just come order right it and they don't, deliver. Don't let her open the box. So right. You got to beat her, them right. out there. But right. but for real, we, we need to get Cy a New Year's resolution because the only New Year's resolution he's said so far is one he made up for his wife. Yeah. I you know. need yeah. your own resolution. You need your own. My own resolution. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Either that or we need well, Mr. See, y'all trying to put the blame on me now. We no. ain't putting no blame right. on you. No, we're just, no. we're no. just trying to keep you going this way, so oh, we're trying to go up. Okay, okay. I want okay. you to stay here with us. We need to let's okay. let's figure out something. Well, here I I'll turn it around on you. Okay, I figured that. What was you, yeah? What would you like to see different in me? Oh, absolutely nothing. I think you're a fantastic. Human. Yeah. I well, want see, you. To then what I need resolution for since I'm perfect? Because <laughs> everybody makes one. <laughs> Yeah, but if you ain't got no flaws, son, why? What are you talking about? Hey. It's hard to argue with the man's logic. Now that that hey. is sound logic. I'll he said, that. "What do you want me to change?" And we all said, oh, yeah. well, "We kind of like you." Yeah, I like you the way you are. I mean, the only Yo, thing no, no, how? Just bring me to marriage, uh -oh. okay? All right. We're yeah. back. Boy. And here's my tip for those that are dating, okay, and are maybe getting closer than you want to. We actually had oh. an email. Of someone wanted your advice for marriage. They're about well, to I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna give you the marriage. Here we go. Boom. Look, hey, you date for what two years? Okay, oh. and you fall in love with this guy or this girl because you like the way she is or the way he is. So hey, here's what you do not do, you dummies. Once you sign the the dotted line, the first thing you try to do is change him or change her. Have you lost your mind? The reason you fell in love with her or him is, okay, is you liked what you saw. So don't spend your lifetime 
Okay, what's left of it? Because most of them get divorced because of that very reason. They try to change that each other. That is a true statement. And that's a true statement. It is. Yeah. yeah. Well, I would say, yeah, on that regard, you know, most of the problems in marriage generally arise from, like, unmet expectations. Yeah. yeah. And so, you you should know what to expect by that point. Yeah. If you've dated for two years, yeah, you should know him pretty good or her pretty good. Yeah, that's exactly right. Unless they're a really good liar. Yeah. Which, in that case... You got to snuff that out from the get go. That's right. You know? Well, that's why you date two years. Yeah. Okay. I'm with you, you watch them closely. Yeah. Oh, I'm I'm with you. Oh, I yeah. thought Sai was going to dump it on me for my New Year's resolution. Nah. That's when I when <laughs> yeah. he when he flipped I'm that. I'm turning it around on you. I yeah. do like. I was like, whoo. Well, should we make one for everybody? I do like that, but I also like the duck call room marriage advice. Yeah. I think we might have to do a whole episode oh, on Uncle Sai's advice for a long and happy marriage. And let's bring Christine in, too. Well, hey, here, yeah, bring her in because, hey, here's the truth of the matter. Learn to say yes, ma'am, a lot. <laughs> yeah, there's two things okay. that never get old. That's, yes, ma'am, I was wrong. That's, that's right. <laughs> if you can say those two words, yes, ma'am, I know I'm wrong. It will help out a lot in your love life. Yeah. This is great advice for 2020. That's right. Which is great advice for 2022, okay, because, hey, guess what? Divorce rate is up, folks. They can't live together. <laughs> Too especially, much time together. Uh, yeah, especially <laughs> if you can't go out. And she can say, Tell me, uh-oh, I've been here for three months with this woman, and we ain't went out like yet. Oh, Lord have yeah, mercy. So, hey. Oh, that's good stuff. But back but, on positive, boys. Hey. Oh, no, we're sticking uh, with we the positive. With positive. Yeah. The hey. funny thing about my New Year's resolutions, I don't make them until February 1st. <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. Hey. Do it I, and then make one. Yeah. No, hey, I like it. I like it for a simple reason. He's actually thought about it, boys. Well, don't that, make it January first. Well, the problem okay. with with that is most of them revolve around some kind of lifestyle change or healthy something or another, you know, or this, that, the other. Or a diet. Well, everybody <laughs> yeah. knows during duck season, you eat what's available, so that's out. Like you, you can't, you ain't packing no bowl of quinoa. To the to the duck boy, I ain't in that quinoa. I ain't either. Quinoa quinoa nowhere. I've no, never no. heard of it, so but I ain't gonna have it. I don't even so, know what it is. Yeah, what is it? It's what people want to replace rice with, and that's just a bad call. Rice oh. is good. Mallards oh. eat it. I eat it. Let's go with it. But oh, with it. let's yeah. just. But that's what I do. I wait till February first when I know I'm in a little bit more control of the circumstances around me, and I know there's a reasonable expectation by then all Christmas tree cakes are gone. <laughs> um, you know, and the val- run out. Valentine's candy is eh, eh, but doesn't uh, really yeah, yeah. doesn't really blow my skirt yeah. up. I so. don't like chocolate, uh, huh? Just a solid chocolate something. No, I'm a cake eater. Little Debbie's out. Little Debbie's out. Well, he's out. Yeah, I like a I like my dessert in almost like a casserole form. I don't want no solid hunk of chocolate. Yeah. Now, but you give me a Snickers, I'm interested. You give me a Reese's. Oh. Very or, interesting. Or what about a pecan covered, pie? Right. Oh Lord! Or chocolate covered cherries. Now then, you got some chocolate covered cherries. Cur- no. I could eat a box of them right now. I, could you? I could yeah. eat yeah. some of them. I could eat a box of them. You may order some. No. <laughs> he's a, no, JD. He's I need a, no. to uh, work he's on this belly, boy. Look, oh, we got there. Oh, we got. No, this is what I got. Well, guess what? Then I've done Take something about that because I just run, I just ordered my tummy tuck. Oh boy! <laughs> and, hey, and it's come in. I hadn't used it yet, but it's come in. Well, you I, do it yourself? Oh, 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 yeah. This is hey, look, you got two things. You get the tummy tuck and a gel. Time out. No, no, ain't let's, no time out. Let's take a break. No, and let's roll this right after oh, this break. Oh, okay. All right. We yeah. need a break. No, we right. need I ain't a, got time for no time out. I've got to. I've got to mentally prepare myself for whatever oh, you're about okay. to say. Yeah. Oh, wow. Tuck. Yeah. You got to do it together. Let's hear about this tummy tuck, side. Okay, I, I, look. I, I, I haven't cake. used it yet because, hey, for the last five days, I've been in Tulsa, Oklahoma with the uh, Eagle Pipeline people because I am their Goodwill Ambassador. Okay. And we had we had run for five days, and I have laughed so much for five days that I hurt all over. But anyway, my tummy tuck come in while I was gone, so I haven't used it yet. And you get two things. You get the tummy tuck that fits around it. It's a 
It's like a uh, 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 spandex deal. It's tight, form-fitting, okay? Side so, I got him some Spanx. No, no, yeah. <laughs> That's what he got. Some more spandex? Spanx. Oh, Spanx, okay. Yeah. But anyway. It's underwear that goes to your nipples is what right. I got. Well, hey, there you go. But, hey, before you use it, you've got to put the magic gel on your tummy. Is that so it'll slide over your tummy? No, 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 that- no, no, no. Nope, you put it on. You put you put the gel on, put the tummy tuck on, and then you've got to do the stomach exercises, which is just push out and tuck in, push out like that a few times to make the gel activate. Then it, you lose your tummy. He ordered that at 1 o'clock in the morning watching <laughs> TV. I, Did you get an extra one? No, first? that was after but 16. wait. No, no, that was after 16 days of hunting, getting up at 4.30 in the morning, hunting all day long, and I was pretty run down. <laughs> <laughs> That's the reason I ordered. So you ordered an at-home tummy tuck. That's right, at-home tummy tuck. And you're going to start at January the 1st. No, I'm going to start it tomorrow. Which is January the 1st. Oh, it's the <laughs> Yeah. Oh. Well, yeah, we're yeah. there, son. Time we're there. Travel. Oh, pitiful. <laughs> Jumping time and space. Where did so, all, stick stick where with did, me here. Where did the month of December go? It's gone. It's, it's gone. gone. Boy, it felt like oh. just... Felt like just yesterday was the 15th. Oh, I'm know. telling you. <laughs> 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 we wanted a Christmas vacation too, people. That's right. <laughs> Boy, we wanted one. Oh, my goodness. I cannot. Hey, can you do me a favor? What's that? Can I come over when you're doing your stomach exercises? <laughs> 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 nah, nah. No, this is one of the things you don't share. Can you do me a favor and never tell me when you're putting that don't gel ever, on you? Don't ever call me and tell me. Hey, yeah. J.D., I'm doing my tummy tuck. <laughs> <laughs> so we find, it took us 19 minutes to get Sai's New Year resolution out, but he's going right. to try to lose his belly. That's he right. got one. I'm going to try to use he this basketball. Yeah. And I have the same New Year's resolution as Sai. A tummy you, tuck? You got a tummy no, tuck? No, no, no. I'm, oh. uh, I'm just going to eat less but no, better decision. no no last no. year i lost 20 pounds then they shut the country down and i said watch this i can gain that back just as quick as i lost it. That? plus hey. 10 so i uh, at my 2019 no my 2020 resolution i lost weight i did not keep the resolution to keep the weight off hey ah. i can i can help you out on this jd i don't want that thing no 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 okay. i can tell you what to do for you lose okay what you need to lose does it include gel and uh, spandex? No. Okay. No. I'm in. Tell me. Well, hey, get rid of all them little Christmas tree shakes. Oh, <laughs> oh, we ain't there yet, son. January 1st is tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, we, yeah. We, oh, man. We think they eat them all You got to get rid of the little Debbie boys. I still a stash behind you, honey. I don't know. There's some in my office, too. I bought, <laughs> right, well, I bought right. seven boxes last week. Uh, I can see JD right now in, in the safe going. <laughs> okay. Do you? Keep your snacks in a safe? Yeah, you do. I don't. Otherwise, that bunch you got, you call oh, kids. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's it's, <laughs> hey, we'll it's a ra- much easier we'll safe. We'll raid them, boys. We'll raid them. It's just safe. He said that <laughs> bunch you call kids. Golly. <laughs> Unreal. Uh, uh, hey, mine are, mine are not kids. What are they? Uh, they're destructos. Destructos. Because every time they come visit, hey, stuff gets tore up. Like young raccoons, ain't they? Oh, yeah. No, no. And I ain't going to say it. What? There's a saying that goes with young raccoons. What is it? Whatever they don't poop on, they tear up. Yeah. Well, that sounds about right. You know, hey. When you call somebody a destructo, that's kind of what hey, I would figure that, they'd leave oh in their yeah. path. Oh, yeah. They leave, you know. You know they've been there. <laughs> easy man to track. Yep, easy man to track. All broken stuff. <laughs> uh, so. Goblin, you got one? Not really. He I said, not some. really, boys. So, Goblin's perfect. That's good. God, well, I'm it? not perfect. I'm just not just stay made a resolution. <laughs> he ain't perfect. He's just hey. happy where he's at. That's right. Hey, hey contentment. I can. Uh, hey, hey, that can be a that can be one. Somebody I, I longing for contentment. Stay I the get course. It. Yeah. I get it, yeah. boys. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with being content at all. Uh, that's actually you're supposed to be. Mm-hmm. Exactly right. Be content where you at. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to keep on the downward trend now that my back doesn't hurt anymore. Last year, like 2019, was miserable. You've so, been jogging. I have been jogging. Uh oh, jogging. I've been jogging. I've been riding a bicycle. Uh oh, that's now, as now disturbing look, as a vasectomy, Uh-oh. if you Uh-oh. ask me. Like okay. my friends are now jogging. Now my bicycle. Don't get it twisted. She got a motor. Uh-oh. So when Uh-oh. you get to that part of the hill that really sucks, Uh-oh. you just hit the gas. 
Wait, you hold the I, throttle I, down. I ride, I ride a bicycle, but I don't hold it. No, I got a motor on mine, boy. Yeah, when you get <laughs> to like the... It, hey. you That's know, called when you a get, motorcycle. Uh, no. I, yeah, <laughs> I, was, I was just fixing to say when he said, you jogging and riding a bicycle, I said, hey, if you ever see me jogging or riding a bicycle, get your gun and load it. And then shoot what's chasing me. Get the blasting, boys. Okay, no, I got one of them. I got one of them e-bikes, man, and it it's, it actually makes riding a bicycle fun. Cause you know, like if you're climbing a hill on a bicycle for yeah. somebody that doesn't do it a lot, yeah, you get about three quarters up it, it starts to suck. One well, when it gets to sucking, you just <laughs> hold the throttle down, <laughs> and your little electric motor takes yeah. over. Oh no, it yeah. don't do no no. Uh-huh. No, it you don't goes. ever even know it's running. It's a, that's why if you're jogging, yeah. <laughs> something like that. Yeah, it's more like a Segway sound or whatever. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right, we're back to the Godwin sound. Yeah, that little. Stay tuned for next little. week. Godwin does all of his sounds. <laughs> Godwin tries out for Police Academy, the remake. That guy <laughs> made that movie, didn't he? I'm serious. That I, guy, that guy made that movie. Period. Without that, him, I don't know. Where uh, to you're not you. You've never seen Police Academy. Oh no! I'm having to Google what Police Academy even is. Oh, oh my no. goodness gracious! Yeah, you society has done you yeah. no favors if yeah. you haven't watched if Police you hadn't Academy. Watched Police Academy, because uh, who's the big tall guy? It came out High Tower. Yeah, High Tower. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> High Tower. Oh, the cool. guy. Yeah, High Tower, and the guy that done the sound effects was. I can't remember. I can't remember his name. The sound effects guy. 1984. Read me the cast list. You're You're looking at it. Years since Steve Gutenberg. Yeah, he's the lead. Bubba Smith. No. Mm -hmm. Bubba Smith. George Gaines. High Tower. Yeah, Bubba Smith was High Tower. But the guy that made all the noises. This. This. I wasn't alive. So I have no oh, idea who hey. these people are. Oh, you've got to yeah. go watch Police Academy. I'm looking at his face. That needs to be on your 2021 yeah, was, resolution. Yeah. That was made back to watch in the 1900s. That or just because of the guy making the sound effect. What hey, was his he name? Do Michael anything. something. Yeah. Uh, isn't it Michael? All right, time Michael oh. Marguez. No, I don't think that's He it. did the cinematography. I'm um, looking at the whole thing. Yeah. What is the guy's name? Hold on. Time out. I'm that's, looking at his face, and I can't, I can't come up with the name. But I love to watch him watch Kim Cattrall, Bubba Smith, Donovan Scott, Michael Winslow. Yeah. Michael Andrew Winslow. Winslow. There, there it is. Was, yeah. I know Ma- it was Michael. Michael Winslow. Michael Winslow. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. Oh, and, and, uh, man. He did all those sounds were so good. Yeah. Oh, I love that movie. Who hey, I wasn't born then either. But who, Hey, who was the guy that was standing and uh, had the podium in front of him? And, and the other guy, the star, one of the stars, of it, and the girl was inside the podium. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's those 80s movies it's like remember. it's like naked gun and all that, oh, yeah. that kind of slapstick yeah. humor yeah. it was there was good stuff it was, man. It was hilarious yeah that and was the hilarious. guy was the whole time during the movie the guy is behind the scenes making all these weird noises yeah with michael, his mouth michael winslow you got winslow was you know you gotta watch it. i cannot believe you've never seen police academy that blows my mind I don't know. Oh. You've seen other movies that were made when you weren't yeah. born. Yeah, that was, like that was a good one. I haven't yeah. seen a lot of movies. That's like Jackie seen. come in there yesterday. He said, uh, oh. he, he, he called ringing. back. He done ain't, he done ain't three times. Uh, I but looked at that, again. That, that was Stone. He was yeah. calling to give some sort of bad news, I'm <laughs> sure. <laughs> this is a good news episode only. Jackie yeah. come in there yesterday, and he said, there's a new Western come out, Jeremiah Johnson. <laughs> it was good. <laughs> new Western no, with no. Robert Redford. Yeah, that ain't that ain't a new one. Or whenever I it was. said no. Yeah, that ain't a new. No, one. that's old. Nineteen seventy-two. I think it was bad. That was, that ain't a new one. one either. You hadn't whoa, seen it. Whoa, 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 whoa. That was that you used got, to be the rite of passage to work here. Like you had three movies you had to watch. Yep. That's one of them right there. Outlaw Josie Wells. Outlaw I hadn't seen Josie it. Wells. Oh, good lord, Jeremiah Johnson. I hadn't seen it. And? Come on, little Josie. Let's and get washed police, up. Police Academy. No, nah, Police Academy oh. wasn't on the list. That's, <laughs> no. just, a, that's just a time. It's a brother where art thou no. third? No. no, but that's a great one. What? I, I'm the new age duck commander, I guess. You, yeah, you, uh. you're different. That's for sure. <laughs> um, yeah. No, the other one, you, you got to pick between Once Upon a Time in the West oh, and no, The Good, no. the Bad, and the Ugly. Never seen it. Yeah. Either he one. He that where they catches that fly in the barrel. Yeah. And he shakes it every once in a while. Yeah. And then Branson comes up there. That's who they're waiting on. They're going to kill yeah. him. And all you hear he is that said, uh, harmonica. Yeah. <laughs> and that old, that old <laughs> wind right. made As soon as I hear that harmonica, I said, 
Somebody is fixing to die. <laughs> that old windmill scratch and need some yeah. grease on him burn. And then, yeah. then the guy, the water on his hat. Yeah. I guess Brian I need to go watch up. some westerns. Brian some walks up and says, <laughs> looks like you got too many horses. Now the other guy said, yeah. he said we're something. One, he said, we're one horse short. Yeah, yeah, he said, we're one horse short. And then Bronson, Bronson, says, yeah, Bronson looks and says, no, you, you got, got too one, many. Two yeah. too many. Yeah, yeah, you got two too many. Bop, bop, bop. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Over. <laughs> that's uh, why I said, then the harmonica kicks in again. But that's yeah. the deal. You've never, <laughs> <laughs> you've never worked in the duck call room. That's the problem. No, yeah. no. Hey. <laughs> Is this what y'all did in the duck no, car room? No, 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 just no, watched no. westerns? Yeah. And he, since he done that, here's the deal. And the good, bad, and ugly, all of them sounds for that movie track is a one man, listen to me, one man with a guitar. Don't and die, Blondie. No. Named, named John Godwin. No, 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 no. Look, it's an old man that plays the guitar and makes all them weird sounds between the guitar and his mouth. Si, there's two types of men oh. in this world. What's that? Those that dig, and those with a gun. <laughs> dig. <laughs> Guess which one you are. Dig. <laughs> no, no. Look, yeah, we should have Al on on this one because on movies, Al's the guy that can do all the one-liners oh, Gary, for dude. all of them. Okay, yeah, and man. actually pretty good. You know, it actually sounds. My like favorite, my favorite Al movie story is. Phil at Christmas took the whole family to see Death Wish with Charles Bronson in it. You remember that one? That's that's no, no. That, there's nothing more Phil Robertson than that. Go watch a Charles Bronson yeah, movie yeah. the night before Christmas. Yeah, yeah. Like here's what we do here's what we're doing it for this jolly season. We're gonna go watch Death Wish. <laughs> you can't make that stuff up, man. That is good stuff. Oh man. Well let's take another break and then we're gonna come back and wrap this baby up. Oh, I got to go for that. In what years. I do, what I do for New, what do I do to ring in the New Year? I'd oh, love yeah. to know. Too. What do you do it. for New Year's Eve, si? I'm yeah. gonna wait till we on. You're on. on. Oh, Tell me. The oh, break is over. Oh, well, y'all didn't say we're back, Jack. We're back, Jack. Well, hey, here's what I do for New Year's Eve. Oh, I ring it in, all right, with a 20 gauge with high velocity fours. Okay, on them ducks when they get in the decoys at midnight. Right. That's no, not that legal. morning. I don't oh. stay awake to ring in the New Year's. I get up at daylight. That's when I go ring. Hold in. on. What is your average bedtime on New Year's Eve? On New Year's Eve, about probably ten o'clock. Oh. I hit the bed. That's because he, he just seemed, woke uh, up at nine thirty. Yeah. <laughs> he woke up. At well, 9. no, no. Hey, you just he had to go up. to the bathroom. Hey, look here. You just brought up a good, a good deal. Because look, I got a CPAP that I wear at night. Mm-hmm. Okay, one of them breathing apparatuses. Yeah, so does God. Okay, and I, I got, got the one. I got to looking at my summary of of my what sleep I got. You know, twelve hours, thirteen. <laughs> you know, my average is about twelve hours a night. And you wake up Asleep? at 4 o'clock to go duck. It's, uh, not, it's not quite 4 a.m. Nice. He yeah. starts about 10 o'clock yeah, in the morning. Yeah, yeah. Do you and sleep more than 12 oh, no, hours look. Oh, yeah. When I go, I look, I get about a two-hour nap every day. Sometimes it runs into four. Whether you need yeah, it or not. Whether oh. I need it or not. If I'm really tired from duck hunting, getting up 4, 30 a.m., you know, then it'd be four hours. You know. That was one of my favorite things when I first started here was Cy. Was the only that's when we were working out Phil and Case. Oh, yeah. and, and He's the only man I know that would take a pre lunch nap and yeah. a post lunch nap. Right. He'd come right. in, drink a cup of coffee, pour right. a glass make of about seventeen reads. And, and, and really, then, uh, really, I'm gonna go no, take a nap. No, no. <laughs> and the bad about you know, the yeah. other employees of Duck Commander, it kinda irritated them, it really did. <laughs> yeah. You know, and Phil just said, Hey, y'all boys get off of him. Hey. You ain't you don't need any reads, do you? And they said, No, he's he I, he said well, He's doing his job. Leave him alone. Yeah. He would take a pre- and post-lunch uh, right. nap. It was Look, fantastic. Yeah. I, I spent 24 years in the military, 24 and a half, okay, and I got a nap every day. That's amazing. That that's point. awesome. Hey, that's hard to pull off. Gobble, Gobble okay. what's yours and Miss Paula's New Year's <laughs> Eve plan? Well, I never. I used to never stay up, but uh, everybody's going to be gone for Christmas. The family's going to different places, so... We've made that our 
Oh, I one, know. One <coughs> big get together. <coughs> so this time I'm gonna stay up. Oh, I know what they're gonna do. Shoot a bunch of firecrackers. Yeah, I know what they're gonna do after rocket. after all the parties over. Uh oh. That's just him a family Miss, show, sir. I, I know it's a family show, but hey, <laughs> him and Miss Paula are gonna play reindeer games. <laughs> I can, and I hey, I like it. You okay. can put your money on that. <laughs> well, that's what I was talking about. I know you're pretty good there, buddy. Okay. <laughs> oh, uncomfortable. All right. I don't know oh, what we're what talking about hey, anymore. Hey, oh, anyway, yeah. um, okay, boy. Okay, Johnny D, you got them little wild Indians. Mm. What y'all going to do? They'll uh, probably be in bed about 7.30. <laughs> 730. <laughs> no. We'll let, we'll let them stay up and we'll, like, have a fake new year for them. Like, Happy New Year, I get in bed. Because they're, they're too young. To Watch the up. New Year's in Australia. <laughs> yeah. Golly, look at there. That's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Happy New Year. Yeah. And then uh, me and my wife will probably sit on the couch. There's an age. It's about when you have kids, like, under four. You, you don't get the New Year party. Like, you yeah. Do your own and then yeah. just hang out. She watches you play Warzone. Well, hey, maybe. Hey, <laughs> hey, easy, easy. If she goes to bed before New Year's, I'll be playing a little Warzone. Ringing in the New Year on Call of Duty. Hey, oh, boy. Um, no, nah, we'll just we normally watch the ball drop at 11 and call it good and hit the sack. It's that vasectomy, ain't it? Yeah, that's yeah. what it is. Well, that's it's a is. family show. There's other stuff that might happen. Oh, right. Lord. No strings attached. Hey, it's all good. <laughs> I like it. So no it's, strings attached. Uh, so it's New Year's in Australia before it's New Year's here. Ain't it? Yeah, yeah. Is that the way it works? Oh, I have no that's idea. That's real early. It's it like 9 a.m. Yeah. I have no idea. Brazil's <laughs> New Year's at like 10 p.m. So if you're like, hey, I want to go to bed at 10, just watch Brazil's New Year's. Yeah, you can watch all. Just just adjust your time change. England. England, you can get a six-hour jump a, on We it. had somebody from the U.K. email us one time. Really? Yeah. They were saying, hey, they love the show, and they're going to love going to New Year's six hours before us. Listen, they boy. Wow. They win. Yeah. yeah. They got plenty of time to wake up and go duck hunt. I think sure it's do. still midnight, though. It is. Yeah, I know. I but. don't know that there's a lot of ducks in England. Either. Oh, it is. They, they there. They there. We filmed a show there. They yep. there. Yep, Germany's yep. got ducks. Yep, they all France, over there. France has got ducks. Everybody got ducks. That's right. Hey. Amen. Learn something new every day. Right. Guaranteed. Yeah. Well, Sai, you want to, you got an inspirational quote going into 2021? No, JD, JD he, said he had one. He's turning it over to me. I'm he's turning, turning it, it over to JD, boy. Ah, it's a neat JD, tradition. no pressure, but you're about That's to encourage cool. everybody going That's into right. 2021. 2021, ready? Revelation Forgot the chapter. Uh-oh. 21 4, last book of the Bible. He will wipe every tear from their eyes. There will be no more death or mourning or crying or pain. For the old order of things has passed away. He who was seated on the throne said, I'm making everything new. So no matter what 2020 looks at, one day all things will be new. Excellent job I love there, Jay. I love it. Let's go to 2020. Hey, with that, boys, hey, if that don't fire you up, your wood's wet, boys. Happy New Year. Happy Happy New New Year. Year. Happy New Year.